I've been in this for 26 years now, and I've seen stories come and go, and some of them are quite powerful. Uh, I've seen movements come and go, and some are quite powerful. I've not seen something like this. But the people I think about the most, they're the 24-year-old single working woman. Now, courage and, and a voice are great, but they don't put food on the table at the end of the week if you lose your job. There are people who are not believed, not because their stories aren't true or credible, but because there's a certain kind of skepticism that comes with all kinds of identity factors, whether it's sexuality or race or, yeah. or class. And so we tend to think about Hollywood, and I want us to understand that this is... Uh, sexual harassment, sexual assault is something that happens to women of all races, all ages, all sizes, you know, all backgrounds, religions, and, and, and until we can believe all women, every woman's voice has value, none of us really will be seen as equal. We have to change enablers and bystanders into allies. We have to encourage men in the workplace to find the same amount of courage that women do in coming forward, in coming to our defense. The question is not how do I be a perfect human being, right, and how do I not be a good man or a bad man, but how do we be a better man and understand that that's going to be a lifelong process and do the sort of intrapersonal work too, which make, makes us understand that like we are all complicit in this as men. And unless we're actually doing something to be a part of the solution, we're sort of part of the problem. More men are stepping up. And that is an important change in, in what is going on. And it will take men to stand up for equality in the workplace, in on the streets, and where in, in our schools. The responsibility when you hear an accusation over and over again is to stop working with these people. I said this before, if everybody who knew about Harvey Weinstein just refused to work for him or work with him or hire him, he would be rendered powerless. So that's what we need to do. When, when we hear stories over and over again about Predators, stop working with them. I think the Me Too campaign is changing everything. Uh, to have a public forum where uh, men and women can come forward to tell, unfortunately, the worst stories of their lives publicly is creating pressure. I mean, look at how much accountability we've seen in the last few weeks alone. Uh, people who uh, are being accused of heinous crimes, of horrible assault and harassment, they are now being held accountable. They're losing contracts, they're losing jobs, um, they've lost reputations. And so even if you can't perhaps sue your perpetrator because of a statute of limitations, I would still tell your story if you have, if you feel safe enough to do so, and if you have the um, ability to do so, because that is the way we create change. Thank you.